Welcome to the Talk With Clouds podcast. Your host is Katie Ann, an island girl on a journey with her guests to learn about their backgrounds, businesses, passions, experiences, life lessons, and wins. Come and laugh, cheer, learn, and plan with us. My friend, take some time to come and talk with Clads. Hello, world. Welcome to Talk with Clads. My name is Katie Ann, and I will be your host for today. Welcome, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. And I just want to do a quick check-in with you before we kind of start talking. But how are you doing? Are you reaching your goals? Are you checking, making a checklist and like checking some things off? Or do you have to pivot? Um, you're, you're not there. You see that some of the things weren't really realistic. And now you have to go, okay, all right, let me see. I, I, I got to figure out, you know, what do I do different? And... One of the things that you will realize is that change requires that you pivot. So speaking of pivot, um, one of the things that I like, one of my favorite reads, it's called Who Moved My Cheese? And it's by um, Dr. Spencer Johnson. And my first, uh, I think my first job promotion, I was given this book as a gift. Uh, and it, it was about reading you know adjusting to change so the story takes place in a maze like with four different characters um two are mice one is called sniff and scurry and then it has two little people right one is i think it's hem and ha and they're looking for what cheese and, and think about cheese as a quotation because the cheese is just a metaphor that represents a, a, a relationship. It could be business, it could be job, it could be money, it could be house, it could be your spirituality, it could be um, freedom, it could be um, an activity. And everyone essentially has an idea of what they want to achieve, what their goal is, right? But steps to my vision is above. Uh, vision board planning goal so just think about your goals um using the planner or your goal using your vision board and that's your goal is ultimately the cheese it's your place of happy and then they are going in this maze and the maze represents time where where you where you spend most of your time going after what you want if you want a promotion at work then the place where you spend most of that time could be work because you're putting in those hours or you're working on different projects. Um, You're building your new business. So if it's a a place from home, uh, uh, I mean a home, oh Lord, catch me. You know what I guys, what I mean that, you know, if you are a home based business, then the place where the maze may be home, if it's your relationship um, wherever that relationship is. So it's it's where the maze in the story represents the the place where you spend most time going after what you um so the two mice, Sniff and Scurry, they're searching for their place of happiness, which is the cheese. They're searching for the cheese, right? And um him and Ha, they're the, the, the rats or the mice, they're going by their instincts. And him and all, they represent us human beings, right? Where we are going, we have the ability to think and learn from whatever experience that we have, what we do well. It, 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 it's what we do. Like we're analytical or some of us are in analytical. Um, and so we put our human beliefs and emotions in, in what we're going after. We're sniff and scurry they're like plant instincts so they're they're looking for their cheese and they're searching for the cheese by instincts and then the humans are using their ability to think um to find the cheese now how you find the cheese you know they they eventually they go through the maze and they find the cheese right they find they're happy and so him and ha human beings they get 
comfortable. You know, they don't notice as like every day they go in and they eat more cheese that it's dwindling. Some parts of it, it gets rotten. Um, but, you know, they are in a place of content. And so think about us sometimes as humans or, you know, we are all humans. And we we want to change, but we get so content. It could be like, okay, I want to start a new business. But I am in this place where my my job represents my safety. So I'm not going to change. And things in your, your environment may be changing, but you're too content to notice the change. Or you get content in your relationship and you don't realize that your spouse may be changing. You want to go after a home, but you know what? You are always okay with just, I don't have to pay a mortgage. I may pay the rent. I don't have the additional expenses that comes with being a homeowner, or I want to invest, but I'm scared. I don't want to lose my pockets. I have to critically lose what my funding is. So I, I, I kind of sit on my hands. I'm content with what I have. So him and her, the two human beings, that's what, that's where they are. They're at this place of content. And then sniff and scurry, uh, there go by instincts. So they're noticing the change. They're noticing that the cheese is dwindling. Um, so when it, the cheese goes away, they adapt because they notice that the cheese was dwindling. Him and her, the human beings, they're like, what the heck? Where's the cheese? What happened to the cheese? The cheese was always here. It was here yesterday. It was here the day before. Um, so where did the cheese go? Like, I need my cheese. And think about how we are many times where Things change, and it catches us off, off off guard. Like they always say, you know, if you're going to be terminated, you always know when it's going to happen because there are changes that take place. And this is just me linking. When there's conflict, there are things that happen that you know that leads up to the conflict. Um, in your uh, relationship, there's things that happen that you may go, uh, turn a blind eye to it, right, just because of contentment but not recognizing that the change is happening. So when it finally happens, you're like, well, who moved my cheese? Or in, in, in Patois, who moved my cheese, man? What my cheese there? The book states that as, you know, sniff and scurry, they came, you know, their regular routine. Every morning they would come, they would sniff, they would scratch. Um, they go around this cheese station. They would inspect it to see what's going around. And then they would sit and nibble their cheese. And then one morning when they came and they noticed that um, there was no cheese. And because they grew by instinct, they weren't surprised. Sniff and Scurry noticed that they had noticed that the, the supply was going down. It was getting smaller every day. And so they were prepared. Um, and pretty much what they do, they look at each other. They remove their sh running shoes. They tied them together, put them on their foot, and they laced them up, and they ran and start looking for new cheese. They didn't overanalyze the situation because they decided, guess what? I'm going to pivot with the change. I am going to look for something else. I'm going to adapt. Now, him and her, they were different. They came to find their regular cheese. They are not being paying attention to any other small changes that were taking place. Um, they took it for granted. Oh, my cheese is always going to be there. And so when the cheese was gone, remember the cheese was going down. It was rotting. They weren't prepared for what they found. In fact, him was like, what? No cheese? No cheese? Who moved my cheese? And just you know have a temp a, a tantrum you know like how many times like you're like I, I, i'm gonna use this in, in in terms of the world of hr where you'll speak to an employee and you counsel and you coach and there's no behavior change and then on the day of um termination it's like a total surprise to the person who you've been counseling the entire time 
Now, that's not a small change because you've always been counseling. So that's, a, I guess, a, a, I'm, being, I'm emphasizing. But it's always the, the, the same reaction like, oh, my God. Or let's say it's not a performance issue and there's some workforce reduction that's going to happen. As an employee, you, you can notice um, what's going on if you pay attention to your surroundings. So, and, you know, prepare. Companies are doing well financially. Look at things like that. So when the cheese gets moved, you're able to adapt. Simply put, who moved my cheese? If the cheese is moved, how do you adapt to the situation? In business, uh, you know, you want new suppliers, you want to, you, you, or you want to get into business, but you're so dependent on what others think at the end of the day or how others feeling, feel, you know, feel, I always say feelings are not factual. You know, they're, you know, they don't pay your bills. So you have to learn it for change to make change. Change is, is uncomfortable for most. Human beings naturally are not going to just jump for the change. But business, professional life, personal life, change will happen. And knowing how to adapt to the change will determine how successful you are in those aspects of your life. You have your goals. And, you know, your goals are not exactly happening as what you wanted to do. You did your SMART goals. You were realistic. Something may happen, but how you pivot matters essentially. So you have to remember that change happens. You have to keep moving with the change. You have to anticipate change. Get ready for that cheese move. Monitor the change. Monitor the change. Like, you know, the, the cheese was rotten. It was So there was a smell. You know what I mean? And, and I'm using this as a metaphor, but I'm just saying you have to monitor what's going on and adapt quickly you know let go of the old cheese the quicker you're able to let go of what you're holding on to then it's more easier and the process may be even quicker for you to enjoy your new change enjoy your new cheese move with the change enjoy change um see some advantage in it you know, him and her, they're like, no, sniff and scurry, put on their, ru their running shoes, and boom, they're gone. They're adapting. They're looking for that new change. They're looking for the new cheese. They're like, okay, my, this old cheese is gone. I'm a dip. Let me find where the new cheese is so I can go ahead. So what is change, right? So when you think about change, it's to alter or modify and do something different. And a lot of times we resist change as humans because we're afraid of it. It's the fear of the unknown new processes new people um it's change and so our natural instinct as humans are to resist change but nothing is more powerful as a change mind because it helps you how you shape and how you handle the situation just always remember that in in one of the things that the author mentioned in the book who, my, who moved my cheese is that if you do not change, you can become instinct. If you think about um, Blockbuster and the whole Netflix situation, where Netflix approached Blockbuster, they were um, pretty much say, "Hey, mm -mm, no, we're not going to move forward with, with with you, you guys." You know, Blockbuster did not recognize the change. And look at Netflix. Blockbuster is pretty much extinct, and Netflix is still here. And that happened because Blockbuster did not want to change they did not they were like who moved my cheese let me just sit right here they didn't recognize that the change was going out the cheese was smelly rotten going down they were just like chilling and eating from the same old cheese so just remember you need to recognize when it's when it's the who moved my cheese you're not like who moved my cheese you you're you're like the cheese move i'm going one of the reactions that uh, him and Ha had was that they would still go back to the cheese station. They would wait for the cheese. And the thought process is the more important your cheese is to you, the more you want to hold on to it, right? 
uh, because that's your happy place. And so even though they're discouraged and they know that the cheese is gone, they have the hopes that it will come back. And for us, sometimes that's how we are. Things don't work out. We hang on to it. A business idea doesn't work out. We hang on to it. We don't want to adapt because the more important that cheese was to us, we are holding on to it. We, we can't. And one of the things that we have to realize is that there's a difference between activity and productivity. Just because you're doing an activity doesn't necessarily mean that it's productive. And so you have to recognize that there is a difference, you know, that whatever your activity is, it should be productive. Not just, oh, I'm being active to be active, but am I actually producing um, from the fruits of my labor? Now, him and her, they didn't like the idea of change. They didn't want to go through that maze again because they know, uh, you know, in a maze, well, let's call that life, where we spend our time, that sometimes we get lost. You know, it's the fear. Fear can be so crippling at times. And so, like, I don't want to go through that maze anymore. Let me just chill. Let me just come back to the station. Maybe one day it will kind of turn up. Meanwhile, the two mice, they're, like, going through. They don't care if they get lost. They're going through that maze of life. They're making their mistakes. Some, you know, listen, I I can attest to making mistakes because I, I, I believe that how can you learn if you don't make mistakes? Nothing in life is perfect. So I'll, I'll try something, and if I make a mistake, I'm not going to beat myself up. Unless it's a lot of money, then, you know, I may cry a tear or two. But then, you know what, I'm brushing myself off and keep it moving. And with um, Sniff and Scory, they're going on. They're like, okay, you know, let me go through that. Let, let me go through that um, maze and see if I can find some new cheese. And then one of the uh, little people... Um, said, you know what? I I need I need to just try to find new cheese, man. I'm like coming there all the all this time and nothing is changing. There's nothing changing. So you have him and her, and one is like being analytical. Let me draw the the maze. Let me do a hypothesis. Let me just be analytical. But the other one is like, uh, you know, and and that's a good thing. You know, you like you like to practice critical thinking skills um you know but sometimes even though you're all the planning that you're doing you're doing the activity of planning but now you need to be go to the phase of productivity i've planned i've planned what now are my action steps so speaking of visualization hem is like you know what uh, i'm 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 going to i i see the cheese I see the cheese, and when I see the cheese, I feel good. You know, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go search for that cheese. And so he puts his shoes on. He gathers his pickaxe or whatever that you need to go through a maze because you know I've never been through one myself, literally. Um, and he goes after that new um, cheese. Hem. Hem is like, uh, I'm going to stick around. I'm, I'm going to see if the new cheese is if there's cheese that, that's going to be put back here and we all know <laughs> uh hem right some of us are some of us are hem right and everyone has a season in their life where they may be hem and you may be hot i don't know what your season is but the the point of this podcast is change is happening around us and sometimes we get too comfortable in what we know and we're afraid of the unknown. But for us to level up, we need to make that change. We need to take that step. We need to gather our courage and, you know, put our running shoes on and step into change. One of the things that you have to say is, you know what, if I wasn't afraid, what would I do? What would I do if I if I wasn't afraid? If I wasn't afraid of change, what would I do? And so that's what um, one of the little people, uh, Ha, did. He said, "You know what? I'm afraid, but I'm gonna go after this 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 cheese. I'm, I I I know that it's the fear. I'm uncomfortable at the moment, but 
but I got to take control. I got to go. I, I got to look for what I, I got to go after happiness. I, I got to go. I have to realize that um, I've smelled the cheese. I didn't even realize it was getting old. I didn't see the cheese. But now I have to have movement in a new di direction. I have to go in that unknown so I can find new cheese. Meanwhile, the two mice, they're ahead. They're ahead of the game. They're navigating that, that maze. They're navigating the maze. While the two humans, they're like, one is finally there going down the dark um, passageway in that maze looking for the cheese. And the other one is still there chilling like, uh, you know what? Maybe tomorrow the, the, the cheese is going to come. Maybe tomorrow what I thought was the change. You know, it's not really a change. It's going to go back to the old ways because I like the old ways because always is my happy place. And we have to think differently to level up. And guess what? When you stop being afraid, you feel good, right? Because now you're owning your own journey, right? And that, that's a good thing. Like you say, okay, I do my vision board. I put my steps. I, I, I do my SMART goals. I do my action plans. Now it's time for action. You know, I, I am moving from paper to action. I am now being productive. CLAD's resources and consulting values its customers. Our planner footsteps to my vision is a 13 month planner that can be used for five years. It walks you through SMART goals, SWOT analysis, action planning, and holds you accountable through three monthly check-ins. We work only with top quality materials, innovative designs, and verified suppliers, which are guaranteed to deliver to our high expectations because when it comes to our customer satisfaction, there's no room for compromise. Made with high quality PU leather and paper planner helps you focus on achieving your goals by giving you a sense of personal and professional satisfaction. Some of the amazing features of this product Vision Board Planner, Luxury Pen, 8GB USB Flash Drive, Wireless Mouse, Ultra Elegant Packaging Box, available in five stunning colors, black, red, gold, pink, navy blue. Material, PU Leather, 13-month planner, elastic band for easy handling. Our Footsteps to My Vision is available at Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, our website, and at Walmart. You may also follow us at www.cladsresources.com, Instagram, Clads Resources, Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Clads Resources forward slash. You're listening to Talk with Clads. Find more resources online at cladsresources.com. Now back to the show with your host, Katie Ann. to make change you're imagining you're in yourself enjoying or visualizing your um your the change that you want to see happen right and then you're doing the action steps to go to it and imagine you're in yourself enjoying your new cheese will lead you to it and we speak about the power of visualization um in the earlier podcast and you know why is it important to do the vision board and put it in a place where you're constantly seeing it because you're creating that constant reminder of what you want to achieve. And you know what? It's safer to search in that maze called life than to be in a cheese a situation where you're waiting for the cheese to come back. And so I, I wanted to tell you a little story because of a real cheese situation um, where my sister, um, law office of Tanika Reed, PA, I think now she's rebanding and she's now the Peeps Law Group. Excellent attorney if you ever need one. And yes, I'm plugging my sister because it's my podcast and she's actually a great attorney. So go check it. Check her out. Law Office of Tanika Reed, PA um, for all your home insurance, blah, 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 blah. She got it. But um, I remember she was working for a firm, a very well-known firm. And she said to me, oh, you know, I think I'm going to go out on my own. Like, you know, God's just put it in my heart to start my own firm. And she was in a business and she was very well paid. And she had a little one. 
and I was like him. <laughs> I was using the analytical part of my brain going, ah, I don't know if you want to go on, on your own. Can you pay your bills? It's so like how you, you know, it's pretty much you eat what you kill. Not literally. All right. We're, you know, it's not that kind of society that we're in today. But I was just so afraid of the unknown, afraid of chasing the new cheese. And I was like uh, him blocking her who was a ha. Or she wanted to be sniff and scurry. I was like, no. Like, why would you want to go do that? Like, you're in such a safe situation right now where you can provide, you can pay your mortgage. Why would you want to go out and s- disrupt change? <laughs> yes, I was him. And she said, you know, God placed it on my heart. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to fast about it. And I'm going to go on my own. If he, he put me on my own, I'm going to do well. She's also a Christian. So, you know, meanwhile, I'm like thinking to myself, this is one of the silliest things. Why would you leave a safe situation and you have a little one? And it's been one of the best decisions that she's made. She is out there killing it. She is doing an amazing job as an attorney. She's made her own brand um, very reputable. Uh great case outcome so i'm glad she didn't listen to me and if she's hearing me she's probably gonna die laughing because yes i had my hem moment where i say i'm supportive of her journey but i was like no sis i'm gonna need you to sit yourself right down with this firm and this fool just about you starting your own firm when you got bills to pay no so sometimes people in your life can be him because i was one of the one of the people that was a him and i'm glad she didn't listen to me because she's doing amazing and so I say this to tell you that it's safer to search in the maze than remain in a cheeseless situation. Recognize change. She recognized that it was time to change. She pivoted and she did it. And that's what I want you to do. Because as my new family members, now I'm like skipping, scoring, or sniffing, scoring, whatever their name is, and just saying, hey, change happens. Change sometimes happens. Change always happens. Um, what's going on around? in your in your environment how are you adapting you know how are you ready to pivot you 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 got your your running shoes up you ready to go ready to go let's go and not sit and remain in a cheeseless situation you have to remember that old beliefs don't land you the cheese you can't be stuck in your ways you have to learn how to be innovative um you know uh you have to see that you, where you can find, you have to, you know, um, they were going through the maze and they would get lost. So now how do you navigate a new course? How do you change the course in life? You know, how do you notice the small changes and then adjust so that when the bigger changes happen, then you're able to adapt even more. And that was what was happening. Hall was going through it. He was making his mistakes. He was dropping and um then he was like you know what let me adapt let me adapt let me adapt let me adapt let me see a new course and let me keep moving move with the cheese you know and while you're doing it enjoy it enjoy change um you know visualize that you, you what your new cheese look like and just savor the adventure and go wow like i'm learning new experiences you know and be ready again that if anything happens again you can change and you can adapt again and you can adapt again and you can adapt again. That's how innovation happens. You have to be innovative in your business, work life, professional life, personal life. You know, you just have to adapt and pivot, pivot for the change, pivot. If a new marketing thing you want to put out for your business, look at what's going on in the, in the marketing world. You know, look at what are your competitors doing. All right. You know, back in the days when we were, we used to post jobs, we used to post jobs in the, in the newspapers. People aren't looking at newspapers anymore. They're on Instagram. They're on Facebook. They're on uh, Pinterest, Twitter. Like, you have to adapt. Adapt, 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 adapt. Move with the cheese and enjoy it. You know, put some flavor on that cheese. You know what I mean? Create your own cheese. Sometimes we get in our own ways, like we are so 
egotistical, you know, um, that when we make mistakes, we're afraid to say we made a mistake. And we're not able to laugh at ourselves, right? And what happened was the minute Ha was able to laugh at himself and go, Lord, this was dumb. Why didn't I just search? Or he's going through that maze and he made a mistake. He's able to laugh and enjoy the experience. Um, he was able to find the cheese. And guess what? When he got there, guess who was already there enjoying the new cheese? Because they were able to use their instinct and go quicker than us humans. It was the, the, the two <laughs> mice. I keep wanting to say rat. The new mice sniff and scurry. They were already there enjoying the new cheese. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably will, will, will adapt and keep moving so they can find more cheese. Now, um, how I eventually find the cheese. And when you saw them, yeah, they're enjoying it. And he's like, well, you know what? He wasn't surprised because they used their instincts. They weren't over an analytical. They were able to adapt to this, the, the situation. Uh, they were able to be productive. And now because he was productive um, and I'm sure navigating, he's becoming more efficient in how he navigates his path, learning new tips, tricks, um, whatever he needs to learn to hone his skill set, um, then, you know, he's able to find the cheese, right? He is able to check that check mark. Uh, I, I did my SMART goals, did my SWAT, did my, uh, did my action steps. And then when I it didn't work, I pivoted and I went back and I'm able to anticipate change. And here I am. All right. I want to market a new book. I want to market a new business venture. I realized that I need to do a marketing plan. I'm looking at what's going on. Is it social media? Is it business to business? Am I going to do trade shows? Am I going to go to business networking um, groups? Am I going to go to the Chamber of Commerce? Uh, do I target and say, I'm gonna, what's my niche? You know, who am I marketing to? Like, these are things where you have to adapt. And so once you're able to adapt and you enjoy your cheese, um, eventually uh, him came because I guess, you know, it takes some time for him to get there, but he finally gets there. And so, and for all of us, you know, maybe we we are all, we ha as I said, as some aspects of my life, I was a him with my sister. And there are some aspects in her life where she's a little bit over analytical in some aspects where she's a him too. So we all have our him moments and we hopefully all have our ha moments, but we want to be like a sniff and scurry where we're like, you know what, um, let me just put on my running shoes and just dip. Dip meaning running, going off the goal. For those who doesn't don't understand Ebonics. Right. We have to be able to adapt faster. And we have to realize that the biggest inhibitor to change is, is us. You know, and nothing gets better until we change. And that you have to realize that your new cheese is out there whether you recognize it at, the, at any time or not. And that you're rewarded with your new cheese and, and think of whatever that is, job, new business, new relationship, bettering your current relationship, family, home, investment, whatever your cheese, because ultimately the cheese is just a metaphor of what, where your, what is your happiness, what is your ultimate goal, that you're rewarded with it when you go past your fear and then you're able to enjoy the adventure. So I mean, fear, fear, you know, you should respect your fear. Is sometimes fear keeps you safe. My fear of getting burned is not going to make me jump in a fire. <laughs> I'm going to be cautious. I'm going to navigate that fire if I need to cross it, right? So it keeps you out of real danger. But if your fears are irrational and it keeps you from changing, it's going to inhibit you and you're going to stay right where the cheese is and sometimes you have people that plant that seed and so you have to know and and our family say like parents are the number one dream killers and family members can be dream killers friends can be dream killers you have to be able to recognize the voice when you hear it right 
So even though you don't like it, the change can be a blessing in disguise and it can and allow you to find new cheese. It can allow you also, you know, you taking on that change allows personal growth. So I want you to know, him eventually found the cheese, you know, but this 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 is just, as I said, this, the story is a whole metaphor. Um, Dr. Uh, Spencer did a Spencer Johnson did a really, it's like a number one bestseller book. So if you ever have the time of reading Who Moved My Cheese, awesome, 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 awesome book. Um, as I said, I read this multiple times. Sometimes I need a little bit of refresher when, you know, fear kind of gets in the way. Or if I observe change and I'm like, oh, I'm afraid to do do this or do that. I'm like, you know what, who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? So who moved your cheese? And how do you adapt to who mo- whoever moves your cheese? And what are you going to do that your cheese is move? All right? So hopefully you learned from this podcast. It was a short one. Just wanted to touch base, see how everyone is doing. Are you able to pivot, adapt, change, recognize the change, enjoy the change, navigate the change, be productive, and not just be doing activities that, that are not very productive. Just because you're doing activity doesn't mean you're productive. Just remember that. Recognize, enjoy, and move with the cheese so you can find new cheese. So everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and night whenever you listen. And thank you so much for taking some time to talk with Clads. And, oh. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share, share again. So bye, guys. Thanks for listening. Find us on social media at Clads Resources and online at www.cladsresources.com. Our planner, Footsteps to My Vision, is also located on our website or on Facebook, Instagram, or Amazon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check back weekly for new episodes. Until next time, keep creating your footpath to your vision.